Today, the find is a topper. It's not the topper that I have on my head, but I do have a topper on my head, and I'll talk about that later. But I did find a beautiful topper if you're into toppers, and we're going to head over there right now. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday Wig Find of the Week, right here, right now, on Silver Linings. So the topper that I want to speak with you about is the Jean Renault. 12 inch mono top top coverage wavy now the topper that I have on right now as you can see is straight but I think that this is a beautiful looking wavy topper and it does come in three silver gray colors it comes in pure white number 60 it comes in 10148T, which is a soft white with browns, sandy colored browns running through it. And then also it comes in 5651, one of my favorite color combinations, light gray with 20% medium brown and light gray with 30% dark brown, 5650. One. So what does this topper look like that we're going to take a look at? Well, let's head over to Monica's Beauty and Style. And Monica is going to show us in a different color, but that's okay. We've already covered the fact that, that it is available in a silver, white, gray family. But let's take a look at the Wavy Topper 12-inch by Jean Renault. I also, when I apply my toppers, I want my hair to be rough textured. Sometimes I will backcomb it. In my day we used to call it teasing it. That's a really good tip for putting on your topper. Backcomb it, tease it, perhaps spray it with a little bit of hairspray. A hairspray that has some really good hold. I like to use got to be glued. Spray that all over your hair. Um, you could use that one or you could use Tresemme because this is not going on the wig fiber. This is going on your natural hair. Just And let it dry, and then after it's dry, you're gonna take and you're just gonna back comb it or tease it, like Monica says. And then those little combs that are up inside the topper are gonna have something to grip on. Great tip, Monica. And sometimes I don't, so I'm gonna put this on. And just like anything else, when you first put on a topper, you're going to go, oh my goodness. So. Look at that color match. I think that color match is fantastic. Yeah. I have not clipped this in yet, mainly because I wanted to see what is, you know, where I was going to part it, what I was going to, how I was going to wear it type of thing. And the top coverage is best for people that are really going to be looking for a full full coverage design. Somebody that wants more of a natural look. And whether or not you pull your own hair forward or not is going to be up to you. I'm going to go take a look in the mirror and be right back. Let's just... Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward to toward the end of her video because she's going to do a spin for us. And she's going to show us how it looks in the back. The coverage. Now my hair is shorter. I don't know if you can see it. See my hair down here? You can see how short my Now, you know, let's let's go back a little bit. So she could certainly um the cover she could certainly comb out and incorporate her her own hair with what's going on in the back and and once you comb out those those tighter waves that it's going to be even fuller but i love this i love this topper because it's giving you so much coverage on the back you know some toppers are are kind of skimpy like maybe some people have a lot of hair in the back and they don't need that coverage but some people are getting skimpier and skimpier in the back and they really do look for all that coverage let's see what else the coverage is amazing and i don't i i wouldn't fail at all if i was outside and the wind was going to blow that my short hair would look funny underneath it i don't feel that at all i think it's actually pretty cool thank you monica I will drop the link below uh, so that you can head over to Monica's review and 
Be sure to look at the inside of the cap and all the wonderful things about that cap. This topper is really for those in the advanced stage of hair loss. Perhaps you're almost bald on the top, or, and but you have more hair on the sides or you have more hair in the back. And so what it's going to do is it's going to create volume absolutely in seconds. It has the polyurethane tape on the front so that if you're going to use something like it stays, you're going to have something for it stays to grab onto or perhaps you're one of uh or perhaps you're someone who uses tape you'll have something for the, for those adhesives to grab onto the clips are i know jean renault clips and they're very they're pressure sensitive they don't pull your hair out they're very very comfortable this this topper is available in both 12 inch length and 18 inch length and here's the other thing to remember why is the price point where it is why is this topper almost almost as expensive as a, as a higher end wig it is hand tied there is absolutely let me show you this is a hand tied top you see there's no wefting in there no wefting at all Everything is sewn in by hand, and if you watched my video uh, a few weeks ago, I talked about this type of thing, how these wigs are made. Go out and watch, um, go out and watch Monica's review. If you have, this is a beautiful, beautiful topper, and I'm I'm sure you won't be sorry if you pick it up. It's three and a half ounces, so it's going to feel like nothing, like nothing, on your head. So. You know, I remember when I first started, the very first things that I started with with alternative hair was I had a ponytail. I would pull my hair up in a ponytail and, you know, I would clip the ponytail to my own hair. And I probably did that for about a year or so. And then I started adding in some hair pieces, you know, scrunchy buns, things like that. That was fun. Um, and then I got my first topper. And I tell you honestly, I had no idea how to put the thing on. I didn't really watch any videos. I just, I don't even know why. I just put the thing on my head. It was, it was a nightmare. And I'm almost embarrassed. Those, those videos are still out there, but they're out there. <laughs> but now I do know how to put a topper on. And they're wonderful because they're, they're very freeing. You still have your own hair under there. You know, you could take your hair and you can pick it up. You could put it in a messy bun or, you know, whatever it is that, that you want to do. Um, matter of fact, I think I'll leave it up like that. So there's just a lot that you can do with a topper. And this particular one that I have on my head, let me share that with you, and then I'll land the plane. Uh, this is by... I think it's Raquel Welch. Yes, this is Raquel Welch from the Transformations Collection. And I did do a video on this. And it's in the color 5660. 5660. It is 12 inches long. And I tell you, I love this thing. And I also have it in 18 inches. I love it so much I have it in, in two lengths. So it is not hand tied. It has wefting underneath. It's still very comfortable though and I, I do not regret buying it at all. And if I wanted to, I could pull out my own bio hair. I can pull my own bio hair. Well, my there's my own hair right there anyway. But I could pull it down from the sides. I could pull it out from underneath the lace front, but I feel like if you're going to pay for a lace front that you should use the lace front um, if that's what you want to do. So basically that's it for today. If you're looking for a topper, I would highly recommend either one of these. And so let's land this plane. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, give the like, hit the little bell icon and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And as always, look for the silver linings, everybody. Bye-bye.